Hello dudes and welcome back to episode 22 of my FM 2014 series with Liverpool. So I haven't actually played any games since my last episode, that's just because Chelsea lost again. So if I was actually to beat Aston Villa today, I would win the league. Again. So um, Chelsea have just, they've gone to shit. Um, they've lost 9 games. You know, mind you have lost 11. That is fucking ridiculous. It's just, it's so, it's shocking really. So if we win against City today, we actually um, win the league. And I'm going to actually go attacking. Actually, no, I'll, I'll go control. Because um, we don't want to force it, do we, really? Um, but I'm going to go for the same formation I've been playing in the last few games. Same team. Um, yeah, let's just, go, let's just go into the game like this. Aston Villa are currently 6th. They're looking to close down Everton today. So it'll be interesting. What's our last previous game's been like? They have, in fact, lost the two. Ho they've lost the two games. One home game against um, Newcastle and one away to Arsenal. We've got a tough end to the season, really. But let's go into the game. See if we can win the title here today. Regain the title, which is always good to do. But um, they're playing the usual formation uh, with Kozak up front. That's Joe Cole. My God, what must they sign him for? Oh, he's on loan. That is a strange one. Um, they haven't got the strongest of teams. I'm surprised they're up, you know, this high in the, in the league with that team. But you know, uh, it should be like a win today would give us a title. That would be good uh, instruction. But yeah, let's give the fans something to cheer for. Let's go into the game. Hopefully, this tactic worked against Bayern. So I don't see any reason for it not to work today here. Um, I'm prob uh, yeah, I don't like using the same tactic, you know, in like seven games in a row, but I've kind of done this here, but, um, if it's working, there's no point changing it at the moment. Kachir getting tackled, wins the ball back though, Lamella to Verretti, makes it 1-0, we're on track, it's early goal from Verretti, it's his 10th goal of the season, he's had a good first season for us, and we are on track to win the title. This is good, good stuff. Really good stuff. Um, if we actually, I was just going to play all the games and, um, until we actually win the title. But if we win it in this one, then there's no real point, is there? Um, because it will be just be pointless games that we don't really need to win, lose, or draw. So, But it's not over yet. Kozak Schmidt's a sitter. Aston Villa could have been right back in this game. At the moment, it's looking okay. It's looking comfortable. Coutinho's gone off injured, which is a shame. Um, but let's... Uh, Let's have Honda as the Shadow Striker. Let's try Honda as the Shadow Striker. I haven't actually tried him there, but he might be good. So, you never know. If you can hear my cat, he's just sitting right next to me. Oh, Gerard there. Goes on with the save, apparently. We're really powerful on the pressure, which is really good. Can to get one of these... That is probably the worst corner kick I've ever seen in my life. What is he doing? He's aiming for, like, the ball boy or something. I don't know. I, I want that two-goal lead, though. Aston Villa could come uh, back into this game. They've got Frimpong. They actually signed Frimpong on uh, a transfer. I wonder if he's on loan. Because I think I saw him there last season as well. It's Joe Cole against his former team, which he did absolutely nothing for. Oh, my God. And Gonzalez makes it 1-1. One -one. It's the sh second shot on target. <clears throat> so pretty disappointing and there's my phone I'll get that away uh, let's see if Verretti can do a better corner now he has Aga Honda no wasn't to be it's really surprising that we're actually drawing this game at the minute uh, we don't deserve to but sometimes it's just the way it is right let's let's just have a word let's be aggressive to them want a better performance even though we dominated we, we want to score more a little close up of Aga there Alexandro. No, we don't even get a highlight. You Skettle's injured now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lucky it's coming to the end of the season because I would be really pissed. Because my squad's not even that big. Um, definitely looking forward to getting rid of some Deadwood, though. Um, be interesting to see how much transfer budget I actually get. I kind of just want to like focus on maybe um, signing a few English players this, this season. I think my team's strong. 
I don't really. Uh, I, was, I said in a few episodes ago that I was considering selling Suarez, but he's actually like performing for me now, and I don't think there's any point. Um, you know. But let's go attacking because we're gonna win the league if we if we get the late goal. But not if they score. We certainly won't if they score. Lamella. Jesus Christ, that was close. We fully deserve to get the three points today. Oh, Suarez skipping past all these challenges. Great. Can he do? What can he do? Penalty? Oh, he's dived. Fuck's sake. Come on, Suarez. You're better than that. He's no Ramirez against West Brom. <laughs> that was a horrendous decision. Oh, looks like we're going to get a point, which is disappointing, seeing as, you know, the stats and all. But there's actually been that many highlights. Um, Villa might actually nick it late on here. They've got a few highlights, so you never know, they might do. They just seem to be passing it around slowly. I, I want to see a chance. I don't really want to see them pass it around the back. I probably shouldn't have said that because we'll probably go score now. Kozak, tackle him, he's slow. He's slow, tackle him, put a foot in. Oh my god. His shot nearly went out for a throw in. That's how bad he was. Ah. <sighs> well, no, it's probably just going to take this throw in and game over. It is indeed. So we get a point, which is not a bad point, but, you know, through the dominance, the, we should have won that game quite, quite fairly easily. Um, I'll just say you were unlucky. So it looks like we're going into the next game against, um, who's our next game against, actually? We've got Fulham at home. So we should be winning the title in the next game. Bit of unfortunate luck there. Let's have a look at the injuries. 45 days, not too bad. Three to four weeks. It's coming to the end of the season, so it's also not too bad. Um, but I'll pause it here, guys, and I will uh, come back when just before my next game. And I'm back, guys. And as you can see, we didn't even have to play the game against Fulham because we've already regained the title. Um, obviously, Chelsea are having a bit of a shit patch at the moment. And this is just ridiculous. I wanted to win, and then it come up that we win the league. My God. But um, as you can see, we ended up winning the league um, after 35 games played. Chelsea have just had a shocking like, run of performances, really. Uh, they uh, they drew at home to Everton. They lost 4-1 in the Champions League um, at home to Man U in semi-final. And they lost 4-3 uh, away to Spurs. So, you know, it's just... Uh, that, that's just That's just poor. Look at Everton are in the semi-final though. To be fair, I was like, whoa. Uh, three English teams, pretty good. Shame. Who knocked out Bayern? Uh, who knocked out the team we got knocked out by? How do I? Oh, yeah, quarters. No, that is just the old troll. Everton knocked out Bayern. Are you fucking serious? Did Everton beat Bayern at Bayern? Okay, now I feel shit. That is just, there is no way, two late goals, there's no way they dominated that game. Holy fuck they did as well. What formation did they play? That is just, that blows my mind, that really is. That actually blows my mind. That is so, that's what, we wanted Bayern to be poor when I played them, but you know, we just couldn't finish. But we regain the title anyway, guys. So what I'll do is um, I'll pause it again here. And um, I'll come back when we've played all 38 games. And then we'll see the final final standings from the Premier League. So be right back again, guys. So we finally played all 38 games, guys. And as you can see, we have won the league, as you saw in the last... Well, about it would have been about a second ago for you, but it was about... 25 minutes half an hour for me but we finished on 93 points which is really 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 good um everyone else around us they just had awful seasons um it ended up being liverpool chelsea arsenal man city with the uh, champions league spots uh aston villa and arsenal and everton got europe everton were lucky because they got uh into the fa cup final against manu 
but they subsequently lost that final. Um, why is it not showing me? Hmm, that was weird. It didn't show me to the end. But anyway, here we go. They lost 1-0 in the final uh, with a goal from Van Persie. Bit of a dirty game. Man U winning that with 10 men even. And the um, Man U also in the Champions League final. I think they were in Champions League final last season as well. Um, yeah, they got PSG. Um, PSG knocked out Everton, thank God. Can't let them get to the final. But really, Man U, 7-2 on ag aggregate over Chelsea. They really that's Chelsea's season fell apart towards the end. But PSG went through, 1-0 home and away. And it's Man U versus PSG for the final. I think Man U lost, yeah, Man U lost to Bayern last season. So, made it to back-to-back -back finals, which is pretty good. But this is not going to be my season review, guys. This is just, I'm just having a little show you, like, who got relegated and stuff. So, Wigan, Sunderland, and Swansea got relegated. I'll be doing a separate episode for the uh, like the squad review. Also, I forgot to like show you um, who actually won the World Cup when it happened last season. Um, do I go on? Intercontinental. There we go. So Brazil actually won it in their own turf. Um, they won 1-0. Lucas Moura scoring. Uh, England went out in the semis. Would have been. Yeah, who knocked them out? Brazil knocked them out again. Lucas scoring that goal there. But um, that's the end of the season, guys. Yeah, it's been a good, really good season. I've enjoyed it. Um, I'll just quickly show you the stats. So we've got Suarez getting 19 goals, which is much better than last season. Verretti getting the most assists. Um, we've got the most games won. Um, Lamella f fell down from the average rating, so moved him to the centre, but that's no problem. He still played well. Lambert getting the most goals. Guys, an absolute tank. 19 last season, 23 this season. That's real good. Um, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. And I will bring you a season summary in my next episode. So if you enjoy the series, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.